Um, so my say I've had it about four, four and a half years now. Um, it's a great car, I love the look of it, I love the body lines. I've done a little bit to the engine already, so it's pushing around about 210 brake horsepower, but the handling just isn't there. Obviously, every time I turn into a corner at the moment, I feel like I'm probably going to end up in a ditch. Something I'm looking to upgrade on, and that's the reason for going for the Super Pro kit. The objective today is to try and deal with the handling and ride quality issues David has got with a car that otherwise he quite likes. He is, likes the power that it's given, he likes the general condition of it, but unfortunately doesn't enjoy driving it as much as he should do. We need to establish what the car's condition is. We need to understand what the, the existing suspension components are doing or not doing, uh, tyre condition, wheel alignment and work out where we are starting from. From our evaluation on the wheel alignment ramp and also looking at the general condition of the car, we've managed to identify a couple of significant issues immediately. The first one is there are two broken springs on the rear of the car, um, which, uh, which obviously are contributing to some of the ride quality issues. Uh, and also uh, that the general condition of the bushes, uh, which are still original rubber as supplied with the car when new, is, is poor with some significant splits and, uh, and tears on them. What you can see here is that the rubber, although it would not fail an MOT, the rubber material within the bush is very hard, very, very, very deteriorated in terms of its, its, its elasticity. So it will not be absorbing uh, movements through the suspension in the same way as it should do. The Super bush we're going to fit to the car has got a far more resilient material that will control the suspension movement far more effectively than the worn rubber has been doing, while still allowing it to pivot and move freely. The key thing for David is the car is the car he drives every day. So ride quality and handling are of equal importance to him. So we don't want to sacrifice ride quality at the same time as trying to, to give him a, a handling, a car that handles better. So we will give him both of those results by, first of all, replacing the worn bushes with uh, new Super Pro polyurethane bushes. Um, and also uh, we've decided to fit him a pair of the alloy front wishbones to the car, which give a combination of um, increased caster for more driving feel through the steering wheel and the option of adjustable board joint to, to give them more flexibility in terms of what we can do with the, the, the settings on the front of the car. Those on their own will, will improve tremendously the way the car feels. It'll feel more direct and more communicative. But as we've also got an issue with the, uh, the rear springs being, being broken, we've had a discussion with David about what he'd like to do. And he would like to actually change the ride height, lower it a little bit, and also at the same time make it, make it a little bit more, uh, more sporty in terms of it feels, but doesn't want to compromise that ride quality. So we decided we're going to fit in a set of Ibac uh, Sportline lowering springs and some Bilstein B4 uh, replacement dampers uh, to, go, to go with the, the bush kit. And we think by that combination of relatively compliant but uh, more sophisticated spring and damping with the Super Pro polyurethane bushes, you'll end up with a car that feels tighter and a little bit more communicative than it was previously. Um, without compromising ride quality. Now that the kit's on, I feel a million times better with the handling of the car. It's put the fun back into driving for me. 
it handles so much better but it hasn't ruined the ride quality it really has put a lot more fun into a car that i'd sort of become a little bit fed up with i'll be honest sort of six months or so ago i was thinking about changing the car and looking to go towards something else and now after this i'll be driving it into the ground it'll probably be four or five years before i even consider doing anything else with a, with a car other than this one We're pleased with how today has gone. Uh, we've set out to try and give David a car that handled better and uh, had a decent ride quality. Uh, and I think we've now delivered that for him and he has a car that will work well for years to come.